In today's video, we review the Kettlebell King's kettlebells right after this. Hey everyone, this is Steve Richards, and as I said, we are going to do a full review of the Kettlebell King's kettlebells and also offer a full workout at the end of this video. So please watch it all the way to the end. If you want to do a basic beginner's workout using one kettlebell, because that's what I did. I took this one kettlebell, I chickened out and took the lighter one, <laughs> but I used one kettlebell and took it up. We went to the mountains on the weekend, went to a cabin, and uh, there was no gyms close by, so I just used this one kettlebell and I did 15 minutes each day, did an interview also known as hit style training with one kettlebell so please stay tuned check that out see if it's something you want to do and uh really kicked my butt heart rate was way up there i was winded it gave me not only a muscle building core workout but also gave me a great cardio workout as well so let's take a look we have three kettlebells here from kettlebell kings I want to thank jay for sending this to me i've been using them off and on for about a month and they can be pretty intimidating and uh some of the form on some of the exercises i still don't have down so that's why i did a beginner workout in this video because some of the stuff like snatches and cleans i still have to use my other hand to assist i still feel like even the lightest kettlebell at 35 pounds over here is still even a little bit too heavy so it's something you have to practice your form on I have to dedicate days or at the end of workouts on form using these kettlebells uh, but it's a great challenge and it's something new and kettlebells have been around forever so they are something that a lot of people build strength muscle fat loss there's a ton of different benefits that you can use just using one kettlebell as i'm going to show at the end of this video so let's take a look at these three right here you can see right here we have a one with a yellow stripe on it we also have one marked with purple and one marked with green so you can probably tell by the size difference that the lightest one is over here and the heaviest one one is right here this one here is 35 pounds 44 pounds in the middle 53 pounds on this end right here and i'll tell you what 35 pounds of this one feels very very heavy so um these these kettlebells are the real deal i'm going to tell you why now there were two different types of kettlebells that i was interested in getting and jay helped me kind of figure out which would be best for me in this home gym environment and these are powder coated ones and the reason why i went with these is because i'm not going to use chalk in a home gym so these are powder coated they provide Provide more of a grip than the competition kettlebells because those are very smooth can be slippery especially when you sweat so chalk is probably needed with those with these you can still use chalk it isn't going to do any damage to the kettlebell but the powder coating assists you a great deal with gripping these kettlebells much more easily through a workout than where you sweat and if you're going to use a kettlebell you're damn well going to sweat so you definitely want a good grip on these and these provided a really good grip and also the width of the grip uh, was very good for myself as well as my wife to use. It's still a little bit thick and for I understand if I can recall correctly from Jay is the grip on these do differ a little bit, at least from observation with me. The competition kettlebells, the grip or the width of the grip is all the same throughout, no matter how much you use from the lightest to the heaviest of the competition kettlebells. So even though my wife is strong, she might find this a little bit cumbersome with the 53 pound and might opt to go with the 35 because right here it's much smaller grip for her smaller hands but if we had a competition kettlebell she could just swing or snatch or clean or do whatever she wanted with a kettlebell and still have the same consistent grip throughout all those weights so that's something to consider if that's something you want but in this case like i said with the home gym this particular environment i need to go chalkless uh you know the cats make enough of a mess with these so <laughs> i didn't want to have to have to scrub up chalk as well as all the other stuff to clean in the home gym so i'm just going to turn these around so you can see the logo now the logo here is in engraved into here so you're not going to have any kind of degradation with a label that's just been stuck on the kettlebell um, and I'm going to go with that theme too not just this being engraved but here is a gravity cast on all these kettlebells meaning it's basically just all one cast and right in here as you can see or maybe you can and we'll get a little bit of a close-up if we can even though the stripes here denote the weight uh, amounts or the increments this is all one cast so there's no welds and you see a lot of my other reviews for attachments for bars and stuff like that where there's actually welds this is all one cast and also on the bottom here you can see it's flat oh <laughs> that would have been bad you can see it's flat right here and you can see on the 35 pound that it was 
you know, definitely used outdoors, but if you're in an environment like there's a little bit of an incline here, so it's always gonna lay flat no matter what the case uh, that you put it in or what environment. I know some people with their garage gyms or home gyms don't have it fully level, so having it flat on the bottom like that is a nice design with this. Now, as we turn it around to uh, technically the back of it, you can see right here, it's labeled in pounds as well as kilograms. So we have 16 kilograms, 35 pounds, 20 kilograms, 44. I'm not doing it because I don't know the pounds. I can see that, but I just am not a kilogram person yet. And now we have 24 kilograms, 53 pounds. So once again, this is engraved. So being engraved, you're not going to have a label or something that's been painted on or anything like that, that is going to degrade or what, you know, come off like that. And also having the color differentiation right here to know when you look, oh, it's yellow. So that's going to be 35. Purple is going to be 44. Green is going to be 53. You can just grab the kettlebell knowing what weight you have. Now, these kettlebells are a bit pricier than most that you're going to see out there but that comes with something else that also is an added bonus and also something that really they back up their product with and that's a lifetime warranty. So having a lifetime warranty with these kettlebells is really just peace of mind. So if you own a gym or if you're somebody who's going to use these kettlebells, beat them to hell. As you can see right here on the bottom, I have a little bit of wear and tear on the bottom of the kettlebell. So if uh, the gravity cast, which makes it all one even cast if it starts to chip away or something starts to happen to where I qualify to do a warranty exchange with Kettlebell Kings. What I've seen most customers is they don't give you any problems at all. They really do stand behind the product and having a lifetime warranty is worth the extra cost because the way these are built and the way they feel and the way I want to use them, uh, they should last a lifetime because I, I plan on working out for the rest of my life. And now that I've introduced kettlebells into my workout regimen, I don't plan on taking them out. So I, I actually have every intention of using that lifetime warranty <laughs> sometime in the future that just means I'm working with the kettlebells enough uh, to do that so it might be a little bit more money it might be something that turns you off initially but just think about how many times you're going to use these kettlebells can't stress it enough lifetime warranty the gravity cast the the bottom part of it being flat the engravings all that stuff doesn't mean crap if they don't back it up with some type of warranty Okay, so now we're gonna go to the workout. Now, this is the second workout. The first one, there was a bunch of technical difficulties, a bunch of things happened and everything, and I actually forgot one of the exercises. So that might come at a later date as a different workout with the 15 minute workout that I put up there. Uh, I forgot to do goblet squats, maybe subconsciously, purposely, because as you'll see in this video with the workout, they were extremely tough and it took quite a few rounds for my hips and knees to open up to go deep within the goblet squat, but it was an amazing workout and I was really happy to do it and I was really glad that I got to do it in this setting such as outdoors and that's another thing you can take this kettlebell outdoors do whatever you want the weather's getting nice and I was able to experience that two days in a row just using a single 35 pound kettlebell so check it out and remember to subscribe like this video comment and if you have any questions email me at stevie richards fitness at gmail.com. You know, sometimes having a background as a tech reviewer comes in handy, and sometimes you forget to actually check the things you used to do as a tech reviewer. So uh, I had a wireless mic here, and there was a setting on the wireless mic with the app to long press to pause and stop the recording. I didn't have that, so when I tapped it with the kettlebell on probably the swings or anything else, it stopped. So it's, it's gonna be kind of funky on yesterday's workout. We might include it in this video, but also I forgot to do goblet squats. So I'm gonna put that within this workout also. Not sure about kettlebell swings, might add those in as well. Uh, so to make them kind of two separate workouts, uh, but we'll try to include whatever we can here. And uh, once again, I need to go back to my roots as a tech reviewer and do a checklist, make sure everything works correctly. Another thing that I found out about this app on the wireless microphone, that it doesn't work so great with my Bluetooth heart rate monitor. So this is dedicated to wireless microphone. And I have the iPad over here to do this with the DigiFit iCardio app. You can use that, you can use the Under Armour Record, you can use your Apple Watch. Of course, during the course of the review, I mentioned about the Apple Watch and using kettlebells, especially doing the clean and it hitting your wrist when you have a wearable on, you know, the wrist for measuring your heart rate or any kind of watch at all. So let's get started. Good, all right. So we're gonna start off with the push-ups first. Get started right away. Push-ups each side, just like the other workout. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, I'm sore from yesterday. Go right here. And one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go in the rows. For this particular one, I'm gonna do the one-arm row. I might go to a two-arm row throughout the workout. One, two, three, four, five, still sticking with that five rep range. One, 
two, three, four, five. I'm gonna hold on to the kettlebell and do my presses, thumbless, right here, no thumbs. One, two, three, four, five. That kicked my heart rate up. Now thumbless curls, hammer curls. One, two, three, four, five. Come all the way down, flip it over. Triceps, I'm gonna go to the side here. One, two, three, four, five. All the way around to your chest. Now goblet squats. Be careful here, I don't know what depth I'm gonna get. One, two, whew, tough. Three, four, five. Maybe skip the kettlebell swings this round. Go right to push-ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Already sweating. Go back here. And one, two, three, four, five. Come forward. Heart rate's getting up there. Now I'm gonna do a two-arm row. Just bend over like a T-bar row. One, two, three, there we go. Four, five, hold on. Thumbless grip. One, shoulder press. Two, three, four, five. Curls. One, two, three, four, five. Triceps. Whew. Up here, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, here they are, goblet squats. Whew. One, two, I'll try to bring them all in. Three, are tough. Four, five. All right, back to push ups. There we go. Rest and modify when you need to. One, two, three, four, five. Doing these back to back two days in a row. I may need to modify and especially rest. One, two, three, four, five. Back to one arm rows. Whew. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All the way down. Other hand. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down. Now hold on. Shoulders, thumbless grip. One, two, three. There we go. Four. Shoulders are open up. Five. Whew. Down here, one, two, three, four, five, all the way down, triceps. Go to the side again, one, two, three, four, five, all the way around. Oh, squats. Probably forgot them on purpose. Here we go, goblet squats. One, two, three, four, whew, five. I'm just gonna take a quick water break. About five minutes in. Oh wow, those squats. Uh, okay, let's go again, push-ups. All right, back here. Take your time and focus as you get tired. Don't rush it. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. Rather than passing the kettle block or the kettle bell, I wanna just go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. I wanna concentrate on moving this as little as possible except for the exercises. 
right here. One, two, three, four, five, all the way down, other hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, shoulders. Whew. Number thumb will grip. One, two, three, four, five. All the way down. Curl. One, two, three, four, five. Be careful, triceps. Up here. Now. One, two, three, four, five. I wish I could take my time getting the squats. But they're here again. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh man, that kicks my heart rate up. Second hour water break, heart rate's way up there. Well, if you're filming a review for kettle kettlebells and have to do the workout two days in a row, I don't know if this type of hip workout is uh, really something recommended. I'm feeling it. Here we go. Push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. Like I said, see how I'm switching around? I might move it up a little bit. Just get it centered on camera. One, two, three, four. Five, <sighs> kind of guesstimating <laughs> with the uh, phone I'm using. One, two, three, four, five, coming up on eight minutes. One, two, three, four, five, take it all the way down at negative, bring it up, shoulders now. One, two, three, four, Five, hold on to it. Down in the curl position. Stop looking at the timer. One, two, three, four, five. Right after that, I look at the timer, of course. Let's bring it up here to the side. Triceps. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, goblet squad. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, trying to get the arms in. Four, five, Whew. taking our drink. Heart rate is just way up there. The only thing using kettle bells or Strength training or resistance training, even this one, probably a chest strap is best because there's so much latency from holding the kettlebell during the exercises. All right, here we go. About nine and a half minutes in. One, two, three, four, five. Keep it right there. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five. That hot tub looks good right about now. All right, here we go. One handed rows. One, two, three, four, five. Come down, put it down with the negative. Other hand. One, two, three, four. Now, on this one, row, don't pass it for the shoulder press here. Bring it down here if you want to put it down or hold on to it. And pick it up, do that. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Curls. One, two, three, four, five. Triceps. Heart rate is 76. That's bullshit. Optical heart rate sensors suck. 
One, two, three, four, five. Down here, goblet squat. Whew. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now my heart rate's up. Taking our water break. Just a few seconds between each one. Keep myself hydrated. 11 and a half minutes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Other side, I'll keep it right here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one hand of rows. Just to kill time. <laughs> That's pretty much it. One, two, three, four, five. Put it all the way down. One, two, three, four, five. Put it all the way down or all the way down in the negative and then pick it up. Shoulder press, a thumbless grip. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Here we go. Curls. One, two, three, four, five. And make sure you get the negative right or else you'll know if you do it wrong. Here we go. Triceps. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Goblet squats. Lord help me. Here we go. I need to do these. One, two, three. Get a little deeper. Open it up. Four. Belt time. Five. All right. Quick break. You got room. Time for one more round. If it goes beyond 15, we're going to do it. I'm blown up, man. There's no way I'm 101. Whew. All right, one last set. I'm just going to go toward done. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Don't rush. See, I'm going to go beyond 15. So be careful. No rushing. One, two, three, four, five. All right. You can always do two arm rows. I'm going to go with one. One, two, three, four, five. Put it down. Take your time. One, two, three, four, five, all the way down. Thumb will grip. One, shoulder press. Two, three, four, five. Down in the curls. One, two, three, four, five, triceps. I'll go this way. One, two, three, four, five. Almost at 15 minutes. Gonna do those goblet squats though. Last five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. There we go. We are done. I want to show you how inaccurate my heart rate monitor is after all that. 85. Oh, you're full of heart rate monitor. Okay, guys, so that's it. Oh, I can hardly pick it up. This is the kettlebell from Kettlebell Kings. This is the 35 pound one. I also have a 44 and a 53 pound one. It goes much heavier. 
They also have lighter ones, which right about now, I wish I ended up getting the lighter one. Uh, but this is a great workout. This is what I've done all weekend in the cabin. We didn't have access to a gym or anything, so I just did some light cardio walking to warm up. And this, within 15 minutes, has me just sweating really good. Good full body workout, great interval training, great HIIT training workout. Uh, just be mindful, be careful of the weight. Modify and rest when you need to. For example, drop to your knees when doing the push-up. I couldn't because this is a hard surface, but you can always drop the one knee, two knees doing the push-ups. Take your time with the rows, do two-handed rows, whatever is comfortable for you. Even with the goblet squats, you can grab a chair and do box squats with the goblet squat, but try to get as deep as you can. I have a lot of trouble with those, but as I did them more and more, my hips and everything opened up and I was able to get deep within that goblet squat. Uh, shoulder presses too, you want to warm your shoulders up. Biceps and triceps, you want to be careful with the grip there because you have a heavy kettlebell. Most of those are thumbless grips, so you really have to have a strong grip for that. So definitely recommend to start out with a very light kettlebell. Matter of fact, like I said, I should have started off with a lighter kettlebell. But what I did was I basically made my rep range five. So I'd rather add the intervals on than get 10, 15 or timing it out with 30 seconds of this, 30 seconds of that. I, want, I can always add the intervals, lengthen the hip workout, not too much. You don't wanna go an hour with these hip workouts, but that way I could scale it how I needed to do that. So I think I might put up the other one if I can salvage the edit, especially with the audio. But if I can't, I'll be posting more workouts like this and other ones. As a matter of fact, we're gonna start a blog at stevierichardsfitness.com featuring workouts like the Kettlebell Kings workouts, and they have workouts every week that I'll share. We're trying to aggregate from different sources, have a couple friends own at Anytime Fitness, so those workouts and diet stuff, so it'll be health, fitness, nutrition, wellness, all that stuff. So if you've been looking for ketogenics diet, diet stuff and tips and tricks on that, I'll be posting all that stuff soon. I just, once I get started with it, I wanna just keep going. I don't wanna lull. I want people to expect the information at a particular interval, daily, every other day, whatever it might be. So check that out. It'd probably be a subscription thing that'll pop up so you get notified of new blogs. And even you know through the email, we might have some information coming your way too. If this is too intimidating for you, you wanna start out with something a little less intimidating. If you want direct email support from me and a Facebook community that's really positive and, and just quite frankly awesome, check out the 12-week resistance band training program at stevierichardsfitness.com. Check it out, it's really, really affordable, accessible, and I take great pride in contacting everyone, keeping in touch, and also inspired by everybody's progress that I see who does the program. Thank you guys, God bless you, have a great day.